Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is on the mod 1 8 scale model of the 69 Camaro Z28 that I had made and it's going to focus on uh, the full presentation of the car and opening of the box. So I'm opening the very first box of the Le Mans Blue 69 Z28 that I have available on their website. And to you guys have who have already bought one, again, this is my first box that I'm opening with the help of my buddy here. So let's see what we have. Yep, there they are. So I'll pull one out of here and I will open it up. So here's the box. Um, you know, and all the boxes may have little scuff here and there. I mean, there's one there, but but anyway, it's to be expected. But uh, I'll show you around the box here. box looks really nice and it's real heavy duty and sturdy. So I'm doing this with one hand so you kind of have to excuse the clumsy clumsiness here. Okay, so I've cut the tape all the way around. And by the way, for anybody who buys one of these from me, it is going to be opened at the tape because I have to put the number of the car in the car. So this is the first time that both myself and you are going to see the car. So let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's... Beautiful so far. Again, I'm seeing it for the very first time. So there's a little tape there to hold the hood shut. That Camaro emblem is, is an actual emblem on there. It's not just the decal. So that's very cool. Again, tape on the back. And again, that Camaro emblem is an actual emblem. And to those who know these cars they got the stripes perfect where it's got a little space there and a little closer there on both sides just like the real car and the Camaro emblem is right at the edge just like the real car so that's excellent thing I notice is they put they put this real soft paper here almost like tissue on the top there so it protects the top of the car which is nice again that there's tape on the doors I'm very pleased. Very, very nice.
And some of you may or may not know, but the uh, license plate opens up. I'll try to do it without killing myself or the car. opens up for the gas cap, which is really cool. And just like the photographs that I've been posting all along, the bottom of the car is really nicely detailed. I love even that they got the angled cut on the pipes back here, just like the real car. They've got actual wire for the brake lines. Not sure what that white thing is there. Um, have to look at that. Uh, they got the oil filter correct. It's white, just like the real car. They painted the bell housing, which is correct. Some of them, some of the real cars just have orange overspray on this edge, but some of them have a full orange bell housing, which is fine. Again, the Rally Sport is an actual emblem, not a decal. And it's even, you know, chrome, as you can see there, it's got the reflection. Now, technically, these cars are supposed to be painted black down here below the chrome strip here on the Rally Sports. So, you know, if you want to, you can paint, paint it on there. It's very easily done. So if you want to make the car look completely correct, just paint that black on the bottom. Again, they got the Z Z28 emblem in the right place. I wish I had caught them in time to put the USA number one tag on the front, but it's okay. Maybe on the next one if I do another one. Anyway, I'll take the tape off this, this one. It's really not tape. It's kind of like that, you know, it's not tape. You can, you can take it off and then re-stick it on the car without a problem. So I'm gonna open this door. That's interesting. The doors, the doors have a, they're spring-loaded. So they snap back, which is interesting. And then they stay open, which is really cool. Let's see what this is here. I don't know if I can. Yep, it's got the it's got the GM emblem right there. And if I'm not mistaken, that's the tire pressure label. That's really cool. The seat belts are loose on the on the seat. The seat goes back and forth and and the seat slides 
back and forth too. Oh, and there's like a felt or fabric material on the floor for the carpet, except for where the pedals are, there's a rubber mat there. Again, just like the real car. That's really cool. The door panels All the handles and everything are completely individual. And if I'm not mistaken, that Camaro emblem right there is a separate emblem also, not a decal or anything, as well as the chrome strips on the door panel. Those are individual door, you know, chrome strips. So again, when you shut the door, it snaps shut, which is, that's really nice. See if I can open this hood without taking the tape off or the trunk. So then on the trunk, and I realized these cars, the Z28 did not have a space saver tire. I, when I ordered this car, it was too late to change it, but I at least changed the canister because all the other castings that are done in this car and with this car in the other colors that canister is silver with a blue band on it and that's just not correct so I I took a photograph of the real thing which is red with a red or a or a black uh, bracket and it's got a GM sticker on there for the instructions and I sent them a picture and they duplicated the the label and everything. So uh, that is just amazing. It's amazing what they can do. And then on the trunk lid, you've got the space, uh, the spare tire change instructions and the positive traction rear end label right there. Just like the real Z28s and, and, uh, positive traction cars. I'm gonna put this tape back on this door. Although I'll probably keep this car for myself, so I'm going to take all the tape off anyway. So anyway, that's that's it. There's your car. And I'm going to be sending these out here this week. So, um, And I'm going to send them out in order of sale. So whoever bought the first one is going to be the first one to have it sent out. Oh, I haven't opened the hood for you here. Hold on. Okay. So I had to put the camera down to do this. But anyway, the, the, uh, the hood hinges are really amazing on this car. They... They open just like the real hinge does with a spring, as you can see right there. And when you shut it, you know, the spring and the scissors hinge and everything works just like the real car. That's pretty, pretty amazing that they did that. And it's got the, the hood pad on there. And the engine compartment is fully detailed. Now, on some of the other versions of this car, they've got caution fan sticker on there, which is not correct for Camaro. That was a Ford thing. So I had them take that off. 
and I had them put the this sticker here on. And one of the reasons I went with Rally Sport is because the washer bottle is on the correct side. There's a lot of uh, non-Rally Sport cars where the washer bottle is here and it's supposed to be over here. So that's one of the reasons I did a Rally Sport is because I wanted it to be correct. So if I do a non-Rally Sport in the future, I'm going to try to get them to move it over here. Even the battery is correct for that for that vintage, and it's got the correct sticker on there. Pretty, pretty cool. And then also the 302 is, is an emblem as well on the hood. So one thing I wanted to point out is that uh, as I have posted on Facebook and elsewhere a number of times, I'm numbering each car, each box, and all the paperwork and everything will reflect the numbers. So on the car, I'm putting the number of the car on the bottom of the gas tank right there, uh, as you can see there. Uh, this particular car is going to be mine, so it's number one. And I'm going to give you uh, this paperwork right here, which replicates a couple of things. So this right here is a protecto card, as I call it, or, you know, on the real car, it's called a protecto plate. And it's got the number of the car and the name and city of the person who's buying the car. I'm not going to put the address like I did there. And I'm going to put it in an envelope right here, which the way you open is you pull this and get it out from the button right there. And I'm going to put the so-called Protecto card and my business card. And then on the other side of the Protecto card is this trim tag. It's a replica of the trim tag on the real car. And I've got the number of the car right there where otherwise on the uh, real car, they've got the body number. And they've even got the holes there for the um, rivets that go on the firewall. And then on the back is the Protecto card or Protecto plate. And then I have made a replica of the, well, okay, this is my business card here, which I'll send to you also. And it's got the Q code there for my uh, website and my YouTube channel. But I've also made a replica of an actual sales invoice that you would have gotten back in 1969 if you had bought this car, the real car, brand new. So back then they typed out with a typewriter an actual original copy of the sales invoice and that's what this is here so uh, I've got the number of your car which in this case is number one I've got the actual cost of all the options that this car has and then again sold to your name and the city that you live in and then on the back of the box or on the bottom of the box I've got a label here that also has the number of the car in this case, number one of 402. So whatever number you have will be on this label as well. So anyway, that's it. That's the car. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know what you think. And again, I will get these sent out here this week. So uh, anyway... Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. So I hope you uh, are excited about getting the car. And if you haven't bought one yet, please do. I probably have sold over half of them already, and there's only 402 of them. So uh, just go to my website, digitalpizza.com, and hit on the link. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.